This is the fastest way to turn any web page into LLM ready content at scale. For this, I'm going to show you how you can turn Amazon search result into LLM ready content and build a recommendation engine on top of that using Gemini 2. And the best part here is that this entire thing is powered by Scraper API. That means you don't have to handle proxies. You don't have to handle IPs. You don't have to handle any of the messiness that comes with scraping usually. All you have to do is go to scraperapa.com and then start using the SDE here, Amazon Scraper API. Thanks to Scraper API for sponsoring this video. I'm going to take you through every single line of code so you understand how you can do this for your own search query and also different product lineup. The first thing that you have to do is click the link in the YouTube description to sign up for Scraper API. Once you sign up for Scraper API, you get to see the dashboard here where you can find the API key. So once you have the API key, then the next thing that you have to do is you have to get your API key from Gemini AI Studio. So you have both the API keys ready, then you can add the API key in this particular spot and uncomment this line. So I'm going to share the entire code in the YouTube description so you don't have to just copy paste it while you're watching the video. Once this is all done, everything else is going to be super simple for you. I'm also going to show you where is exactly you have to make change so that you can customize this exactly for your own need. The first part of this code is to use the scraper API Amazon SDE endpoint and then get the search result. Then you get the key from your environment variable. Once you get the key, then you have to specify the query. What is the query that you want? In my particular case, I've already said smartphones between 30,000 rupees and 70,000 rupees. Then all you have to do is send your request to this particular endpoint, which is the Amazon structured endpoint SDE here and then that will get everything for you and then finally you store that in a JSON file and this is how the final JSON would look and this JSON is going to be LLM ready because we can just directly send this JSON into our Gemini 2.5 Pro and then that will give us the product recommendation. So now that we have successfully done the scraping part, now all you have to do is give this data to Gemini. You have to specify a user profile. So in this case, I've like hard coded it, but you can have it programmatically as well. So simply I've said, okay, the user is like a gender, male, a data scientist, hobbies, making YouTube videos. And then I've got the product list. This product list is going to come from the JSON that we just scraped using Scraper API. You're going to deal with Gemini API authentication and then you're going to say which model you want to use. In this case, I'm using Gemini 2.0 Flash, but you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro as well and any other Google model that is currently available. And because we are using generative AI through Google AI Studio, this entire thing is free. You don't have to pay for the API at this particular point. Then you give the structure in which you want the final output. So you can see here my final output is like this recommended products, product, the rank, URL, product name, recommendation score and recommendation reason. You specify the entire structure here and once the structure is particularly defined, then this is the part where you give a system instruction. The instruction is very simple and naive in my case. And then we are going to just simply say that this is your input example. This is how the example is going to be. Now you're going to send everything to Gemini 2.0 flash and then finally you get all the recommendations and save it as a JSON object. Now let us do the same thing for a different use case. In this case, we're going to do this for books and we're going to do it for nonfiction books to learn business. This is a query that we can just go here and edit it. And once you edit this query, you can change the store that you want. And I'm going to use the Scraper API's Amazon SDE. So this will get everything for you LLM ready content. And then we're going to store this as a JSON object. So this is the first part of code that will help you do the scraping. And in the second part of code, we are going to handle this with the recommendation engine. So we're going to use Gemini 2.0 flash to create the recommendation engine for us. So I'm going to run this in front of you so that you can understand how long it actually takes to scrape all the result from Amazon. So click run. And as you can see here, it has started. I'm not going to edit this particular part of the video. And you can see that it has already done. It is finished. And then we have got a JSON file, which has got all the books that is from amazon.com. So like the, for that particular query that we search, now go back to the second code, which is the Gemini Rexes, which is going to import the JSON, which has got the products and then have the user profile in my case, male data scientist making YouTube videos and then use this particular profile and match the products and then give us the products. I'm going to run this code as well. And once you run this code, you can see that it is going to go hit the Gemini endpoint, which is Google Gemini endpoint. Use Gemini 2.0 flash, which is one of the fastest models. 
and this is already done go to the recommendation.json and you can see what kind of products books it has recommended so the books it has recommended is 48 laws of power very interesting choice i think i've heard about this book it's a robert green book i guess the psychology of money and then i've got extreme ownership which is honestly a book multiple people have recommended it to me in the past so i'm going to go paste here so extreme ownership audiobook okay so it's a very interesting choice to be honest so now we can go scrape again so let's go with a different query this time i'm going to say non-fiction books for learning programming okay so i'm going to just say non-fiction books for learning programming i don't know why should i even say non-fiction books but i'm going to just keep it as it is i'm going to run this again so this time we need to get a new set of recommendations and for that we need to collect data again so in a couple of seconds we got a new set of products go back to our recommendation engine code and in this particular case i'm going to say instead of making youtube video my hobby is writing tech articles just to see if it is going to have any influence and i'm going to run this the same profile gender profession and hobbies i want to see if it can actually recommend any programming book or relevant to python or r so you can see that it is still running it is finished go back to the amazon recommendation.json and here you can see here okay learn to code by solving problems beginners step by step coding course okay it is all giving me coding related one and uh, what is the first okay learn ai assisted python programming this is very good so we've got a python code a book and we have got code problem solving and a bunch of other things at this point you would have learned that you can build a decent enough recommendation engine on the go like you don't need matrix multiplication or you don't need algorithms like collaborative filtering you can build a recommendation engine for any amazon product list and all using a scraper api's impressive sde and also using gemini which in this case we used it for completely free because we accessed it through the ai studio rather than vertex this entire thing the code i'll share it in the youtube description once again thanks to scraper api for sponsoring this video i'll link the sign up link in the youtube description so that you can sign up and then convert any web page into llm ready content and this can be done at scale without having to manage any of the scraping mess thank you so much for watching this video see you in another video happy prompting